Dorset's new town hall took another step forward on Wednesday, May 15th, when ground was broken, metaphorically at least, along Raptor Lane. Construction of the new 5,200-square-foot building will begin soon, with the goal of being ready to move in by next May 2025. The new Net Zero building will house all the town offices currently located at the Town Hall in East Dorset. It's been a long time in the making. The site was identified more than three years ago and followed a public vote, but the plans and blueprints have been changed and modified since then. The building is expected to cost about $3.6 million. The current and soon to be former town hall will be taken down and turned into a town green space. Megan Thorne, the chair of the Dorset Select Board, gave the opening remarks before turning it over to town manager Rob Giotti. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to recognize our town manager, Rob Giotti. Uh, we would not be here today without Rob's hard work. He's worked tirelessly on this project and shepherded the process through from the very beginning, which was some five years ago. Uh, he has successfully acquired everything from the financing to the permitting, um, making sure that our residents had a chance to give their input. Um, and he has also been working with our architects and our contractor to make sure that we are going to be coming in on budget, which was no mean feat. Um, on behalf of the select board, I would also like to thank the residents of Dorset who, recognizing the need for modern, updated and accessible municipal offices, overwhelmingly supported this project. So now I'd like to turn it over to Rob, who will talk a little bit about our journey. Sure. Um, like Megan said, this project, uh, more or less, the idea was born uh, somewhere around 2018, 2019. Um, in 2018, um, we, the town was fortunate enough to do a bargain sale for Raptor Lane, which the property is, it's 308 acres. And um, it assessed that at the time at $1.8 million, we were able to do a bargain sale and purchase it for $100,000. The next step was to figure out what to do with it, um, which was, uh, you know, a, a seemingly daunting task, but we were lucky enough to have a, a really good committee of residents that went through about a, I would say about a 10 month, eight month, 10 month, yeah, maybe a year, about a year process to, uh, to, uh, to meet, uh, to try to find kind of the highest and best use um, for the property. Uh, they did some surveys of residents, um, which we got actually some pretty good participation. I think we had, you know, at least a, a couple hundred um, participants in the surveys. You know, one of the early ideas um, was to move or build a, a municipal office here. That kind of the context there was we we had actually just looked at the office in East Dorset and done some uh, a, kind of a feasibility study on improvements to it. It was very expensive and really didn't kind of meet the needs that we felt um, the town had. So uh, that started the process to then um, you know search for uh, an architect to come up with design. We were very fortunate enough to to um, get linked up with McClay Architects in Waitsfield and. Um, Kat and Bill have kind of stewarded us through a, a few year process to design a building, get some pricing, get some pricing that was too high, redesign the building, and then, uh, um, you know, get to kind of where we are here today, which has been um, a bit of a whirlwind, um, but great. So I think going back to a little bit of the process, we did the design um, in 20 and 21, took it to a bond boat in t August of 21, um, selected a construction management firm, put out the first bit of pricing, um, then had to do a redesign. So about the last 18 months, we've done a redesign, reprice, and then um, got permits. So now we're, um, you know, we've repriced, got the pricing where we need it, um, got a construction contract, and we're basically ready to go. It will be quite a change of pace from the current building to the one to come next year. The entire building will be ADA accessible and comply with all municipal regulations. Parking space will be doubled, along with storage for town documents. The new location will be near the Owl's Head hiking trails. The main access to the town forest hiking trails will be moved from its current location off of Black Rock to the Raptor Lane property just beyond the new town office. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.